Gurney Drive has gone through drastic changes over the years. What used to be the sea is now a swampland with bakau trees, aggrets and mud skippers. It is not a pleasant sight during low tide because the mud will be exposed together with the rubbish brought in by the tide. Plastic bags, styrofoam, food containers, broken glass bottles, rotting planks and more. However, it is an expensive stretch of properties. Shopping malls, super condo that cost millions of ringgits, hotels, boutiques and other expensive properties line the whole stretch of Gurney Drive. Recently, the Ministry of Tourism has funded a beautification project that is reported to cost RM500,000. The contract covers new planter box, chairs, underground cabling, new lampposts, concrete imprint, central divider, six unit blinker lights for OKU and RAM, and replacement of old tiles. According to MPPP Planning and Development Department Acting Director Ku Busun, the contract was awarded on 26 October 2009 till 25 January 2010. However, MPPP granted the contractor extension of time because of six days stop work during festive season. On 3rd February 2010, citizen journalist Chani Lian went to visit the site. Although a lot of money has been spent on the beautification project, she noted that the dirty habits of littering and usage of plastic bags and styrofoam have marred the effort of making Gurney Drive attractive to tourists. According to IRQ, MPPP outsourced the sea cleaning to contractor. He said that the sea cleaning is not an easy task as tide will bring every rubbish in as far as Kedah and Butterworth. As Gurney Drive is a tourist area, MPPP Urban Services Department has people on the ground to do monitoring. IRQ also informed CJ Lillian that there are CCTVs installed along Gurney Drive. Hopefully, this will provide crime prevention and also deter people from littering the place. CJ Lillian also noted that the new benches made of wood and metal frames are not much more attractive than the previous one made of tiles. However, it could be due to each person's perception and opinions. To make Gurney Drive beautiful again, everyone has to put in their efforts, including the public. The hotels, restaurants and shopping malls too could play their part in stepping up their corporate social responsibilities to keep this stretch of road and sea clean. After all, their businesses rely on the beauty of the place.